It's become the universal symbol of support for the Black Lives Matter movement, a stance against racism adopted by most players at this Cricket World Cup, including the entire Australian cricket team, but not South Africa's former captain. Quinton de Kock. Overnight, the Board of Cricket South Africa ordered all players to take a knee following this disjointed display in Saturday's game against Australia, which it said created a lack of support for the BLM initiative. That appeared to be a step too far for de Kock, who elected not to play in last night's match against the West Indies, drawing a harsh condemnation from Zimbabwean commentator Pomi Mabangwa. I speak because the team concerned is South Africa, with a history of exclusion and racism. Excuse me for being political, because some will say it is being political, but I cannot shed my skin. We're obviously surprised and taken aback um, by the news. It looks like he's going now, David Warner. The Australian opening batter, David Warner, says it's always a team decision to take a knee, not an edict from Cricket Australia. Two captains get together. And um, if, the if the opponents want to take um, the knee, we will always um, acknowledge that and respect that. The question now is whether Quentin de Kock will play any further part in this World Cup. He's yet to speak, but his captain is hoping he does. With that freedom of choice, um, as much as you have the choice to decide what you want to do, um, we, can't ex we can't escape the consequences of the choices and decisions that we make. Point two. It's not just the cricket world that will be waiting to hear from Quentin de Kock. David Mark, ABC News.